Okay, tonight's challenge is going to be a doozy. So I've decided to take Buccalokia, ghost pepper, and make a gusher with, God help me, Mad Dog 357. Now, it's just the original. It's not the silver, so it's only 300, only 357,000 scopes. So this is going to be a spicy and meatball. And uh, so that's my challenge for tonight. Today, today was one hell of a day because I got a package in the mail from my friend Mark. A whole bunch of amazing seeds I can't wait to start growing. Um, so there was, uh, well, there's some reapers and some scorpions and some just regular normal stuff. But then there was um, a pink reaper that I can't wait to grow. There was some big mustard mamas, which I can't wait to grow. Um, also, there was a chocolate dougla which I'm, I'm very anxious to try, and there was a, f well, I should have wrote it down, the fun time, uh, I can't remember. Anyways, I was thrilled to get this packaging. And I, I can't wait to start germinating the little buggers and make a little weak batch of tea and get them soaking and get them growing some tails, some little tadpoles there. So I was very happy about that. Uh, so, without further adieu, I'm lopping the head off of this ghost here. And I'm cutting out the seed packet here. Make some room for the pain to be inserted. Oh. Hmm. There's a nice little seed packet for you there. All right, so chopped the top, made the hole. Oh, I see there's still some more seeds in there. Hmm. Hard to see without the light. Okay. I don't know what the hell I was thinking, but here we go. You know, Mad Dog, it likes to come up fast. It's not a big fan of taking its time. So there we go. <laughs> All right, well, so once again, so I should have had it up here. Push on it, it goes bloop, bloop. Oh, it's going down now. All right, okay. Oh, this is going to hurt. Okay. Why in the hell would anybody in the right mind? I got Primus to help me tonight. I got Doug had some good Primus shirt there. Excellent Primus poster shirt. The best. So, will the Primus save me? Somehow I doubt it. Watch wallet spectacles. Oh, I did it the wrong way. Watch wallet spectacles, testicles. That's much better. All right. I can stall no longer. Three minutes of stalling to eat this puppy. Send my widow a ham. Fire in the hole. Oh my. Oh my god. The flavor is absolutely unbelievable. <clears throat> oh. I'm tasting predominantly vinegar in the Mad Dog, and it cancels out entirely the bitterness of the raw pot. I know that the heat is going to just destroy me. I can already feel it. It's going down. I can feel it burning right at the bottom already, so I know that that means it's going to come back up. It feels like a blowtorch all in my mouth already. Oh, my goodness. It's amazing the way gushers work. They kind of... they can't, the, the sauce cancels out the nastiness of the pot. But the heat is still all there, and the uh, the pod kind of gives a bit of a sweet aspect to the the sauce, which kind of doesn't make any sense. I think that's a beautiful thing to do. I'm I'm a big fan of gushers. I'm I'm really starting to enjoy it because that initial flavor is just like, well, that's weird. <coughs> Holy shit, that's hot. <sighs> 
so at supper tonight, Max busted out the Ultra Death because he had something to prove. Put a little bit on his chicken there. Kept saying how how hot it wasn't. Well, then I, I took my uh, my piece of sausage and I mopped up all of his leftovers. And Matthew's leftovers too. I sopped up all of those. And I ate those sausages just with heaping piles of extract. There was Blair's Ultra and uh, oh, there was the uh, Dave's Insanity too. So that's 200,000. That's uh, and then I found out the Blair's Ultra tonight, I found out it's 800,000. So my sauces go in nice, neat, orderly 50, 100, 200, 357, 600, 800. So that's my collection, my extract collection in a nutshell. Anybody who's ever had Blair's 357, the original, knows exactly what my mouth feels like right now. Oh, I'm going to let it burn a bit before I start to uh, ramp it up. As I know that this one is going to burn for a while, I can feel it entirely in my esophagus. Oh, that's a spicy meatball. Okay. It's time for apple juice. I can't wait no longer. And again, it changes the flavor. I'm starting to realize now that when I take a sip, the, the flavor in my mouth changes. It, it, I, it makes it yummy, but I also know that it's it's ramping it too, so it's scary and yummy at the same time. <coughs> like probably most chili heads could probably identify with that sensation. Holy crap, that's hot. So a butchalokia, a ghost pepper, oh, with an extremely generous dab of the, the Mad Dog 357. Oh my god, the burp. The burp was like fire. Feel it all at the back of my throat, really, really bad. Blame the extract, probably. goodness oh. so uh, any other chili heads out there I, I seem to be the only one <clears throat> at least on my channel I'm trying to drum up uh, some subscribers but uh, it seems to be a really slow go so I guess that's the way she goes boys but uh, we'll see if maybe it picked up I saw Johnny Scoville one time eat a gusher that almost killed him. I was amazed at how bad it was for him. He eats the hottest of the hot stuff. <clears throat> but a, a gusher is kind of a different animal. It's not quite the same as a pot and it's not quite the same as a tablespoon of sauce. I put the two of those things together. Uh, I almost can't even talk. Oh my god, that's hot. Oh, it's getting me hard. Okay, so the nose is running, eyelids are sweating. I don't think I'm going to shed a tear. I might be getting a little watery. Oh, mustache is sweating. Uh, ears, maybe a little. Oh, that was nice. The neck popped there. That was good. Whew. Oh, getting the tinnitus now. That's never a good sign. When that. Uh, it's not like tinnitus though. Tinnitus is like a buzz, but the, when you get the heat burn, it's almost like uh, cicadas. It's like in the summertime when you hear the cicadas start screaming. So it sounds like electricity running down the wires. That's what we used to think it was when we were kids. And you can hear the power in the wires. No, that's a cicada. And, uh, oh, maybe I should wear my cicada shirt, my tool shirt with the cicada. Because much like Tool albums, cicadas come out every 12 years. Uh, or more. Uh, I saw that funny post today where uh, 
Aquaman was uh, inspired by Tool. Okay. Then I just saw a picture a couple of minutes ago of Maynard drinking wine with the Aquaman. And the first picture was one of those. And then the section pic second picture was one of those. Uh, also tonight, uh, hats off to my uh, my buddy Kevin who gave me the heads up on uh, live stream of the uh, Dean Ween Invitational from Philly. I got to listen to about the first half of that. They played "Let Me Lick Your Pussy." I like that, and they played uh, uh, "Spirit of '76." That was pretty surprising. The lady did a fine job of singing it. They played. Pandy Fackler. I can't believe they opened with Pandy. Maybe it wasn't an opener. It was the first one I saw. Mm. Poor little Pandy was doing the best she can. Eating the cotton candy from the garbage can. <clears throat> oh. Wow. This pod got me talking all kinds of shit. That's a... That was a hot one. Is it ramping down maybe a little? I can't feel it as much here anymore. I can still feel it in my mouth, big time. Oh. Oh. Wow. So any aspiring chili heads out there that might have some half-ass pods in their collection, like Right now I got a bag full of, I got uh, one giant ghost left, a big Bucciolokia that I've been kind of afraid to eat. It's big. And the rest of them are all kind of medium-ish and small. And then uh, Darlene on the weekend, Gazoo bought me a bag, a package of uh, scotch bonnets. And uh, they were all green except for one. And now they're all turning. They're getting yellow and orange. And they're just getting beautiful. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. But the, uh, the old scotch bonnet got uh, quite a little bit of kick to it there. Not quite the same as a habanero, a little sweeter than a habanero. I used to think they were the same thing until I started to do my homework. I found out this week too, I gave uh, my ride home every night as an Indian fellow who's a, a bit of a pod uh, aficionado. He gave me some pods early in the uh, middle of summer, pods from his garden, so I slipped him a ghost pepper. He's an Indian fellow, so I said, you know what, these are from India, and the hottest ones grow in Assam, I think, Assam, Assam, but uh, also they grow a lot of tea there, but they grow the hottest ghosts in all the world. <clears throat> so I, I don't know if he's munched it yet, but hey, hats off if he does, because the ghost is a mighty pot. Delicious, too. Some of the, the super hots, not so tasty. Chocolates, uh, they're hotter than hell, but they don't taste, they, they don't taste like chocolate, just like Ch Chili Klaus said. I bet you it won't taste like chocolate. He was right. The caramel ones also don't taste like caramel. This just refers to the color. So you go, uh, they go green, yellow, orange, red. And then if you let them overripe and pass red, they become caramel. And then if you let them overripe and pass caramel, they become chocolate. And the chocolate is about the, the well, most brutal, I think, uh, flavor, which, uh, again, I got some chocolate Douglas seeds today, so I'll be growing some chocolate pods. Woo, 14. That was a good burn. What, a three minutes? So, what, 10 minute burn? 10 or 11 minute burn? I'm impressed, though. I, I, I tackled that one. I wonder now if I eat a Reaper, will it still going to beat me up quite as badly? Will I have tears running down my cheeks and all that good stuff? <clears throat> Ooh, uh. It's funny, most of the heat has gone away now. I can't feel it in my esophagus. I can't feel it in my throat. In my my mouth, maybe a little on my lips now. It kind of, for me, it goes down and then comes back up. I get it going down a little and then coming back a lot. Thankfully, nothing has actually come up ever so far. But uh, the ringing in my ears remains. 
Ooh, also big news yesterday. Yesterday, the day before, Slayer coming to my town. Slayer. First CD I ever bought was South of Heaven. So that dates me. I didn't even own a CD player yet. My uh, my best friend and uh, roommate Luke had a CD player, so we went to the record store and everybody bought a CD to play on the new CD player, the newfangled futuristic CD player. I believe Luke brought uh, he bought uh, Rush Presto. That was one he bought. Which, fantastic album. Mine kicked a little more ass, but. So, Slayer being one of my bucket list bands that I never got to see, hallelujah, I'll finally get to see them in May. <laughs> Only all the waiting left to do. Cheers, everybody. Go out and make yourself a gusher. <coughs> Grab any hot pot and any delicious hot sauce. <coughs> Fill one up with the other. Stick it in your fire hole. Cheers.